Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be taking a deeper look into the Scrum versus Kanban workflows inside of Jira. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And before we jump into today's topic, three quick announcements. One, this video is not yet sponsored, so if you're looking for a place to be able to show your app, show it off, maybe get some little extra exposure to it, I get over 100,000 views every 90 days, so this video is just going to be a great way for you to explore getting exposure to your app. So if you're interested, let me know in the comment section down below or send me a message over on LinkedIn. Number two, this video is part of the Summer of Atlassian 2.0. And so what you got to do is smash the subscribe button as we're really trying to get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of summer. And also share this video with everybody you know, as that is going to help even more people get this video. And then finally, the Jira and I have partnered up and we have officially launched the Jira Life. So make sure you go over into the link in the description to go get the link to subscribe to the Jira Life as that is a new effort, a new initiative. It is in a podcast form, much more entertaining, not so much how to, but if you want to get even more at lasting content from two renowned experts, make sure you go give the Jira Life some love. All right, now let's jump into Jira. Okay, so when we are inside of Jira, we are presented with an option. Anytime that we go to create a project and we click on this create project and we want to create a software development project. And the reason this is important is because if you're an agile team, you're going to only be able to use the software template. There aren't any other templates. None of these other templates, service, work, product, marketing, none of those are going to let you be agile. So if you're trying to be an agile team, you're going to have to pick software development. And when you pick software development, you're greeted with this decision you have to make. You have to pick whether you're a Kanban, Scrum, or bug tracking. Now, if you're truly an Agile team, that bug tracking, just cross it off your list because you're not going to want to use that at all. So really, you're left with two options, your Kanban or your Scrum. And today, we're going to take a deeper look as to what's the actual difference. Because when you pick these items, while they may look the same, they may feel the same, they are inherently different. They are very, very different. In fact, so much that Atlassian actually even has an error in this page here. So we'll play a little bit of Where's Waldo, but can anybody spot the problem? Look at the contents of this page. And when we actually go in, into our Jira project, I want you to see if you spot the anomaly because there's something actually really wrong with this page here that you don't necessarily see when we actually get to the project. It is very critical that you understand the fundamental differences between Scrum and Kanban. And the reason is, the reason I wanted to make this video and the reason I'm making such a big deal about this is because when you create a project, you you have to pick, are you Scrum or Kanban? Like you can't skip the screen, right? You have to, you have to get past these screens, whether you pick Kanban or whether you pick Scrum, there is no other way around it. Like you have to make a selection. But what happens if you make a selection and then later change your mind? Well, that's a very interesting question to me because Jira allows you to create a project. You make a decision whether you pick Kanban or Scrum, and then later you can always add more boards. You can't change the style. Once you, once you make a selection and once you have that board, that board is locked. It is not changing types. But Atlassian and Jira do allow you to have a mixture. You can have a combination of a Scrum and a Kanban board. And in fact, let me show you what that looks like now. So I'm going to come over to this project that I have here. It's called a simple Kanban project. And basically what that means is that when I created this project, the intention originally was for this project to be of the style Kanban. And you can see that because when you look here, even though I have the backlog enabled, this is something that I've enabled already. So if you don't see backlog and you only see Kanban board, that's okay. Go check out one of my other videos where I show you how to enable the backlog. But the important thing here though, is that I have a backlog. I have the selected for development and then I have my board with the rest of my statuses for my workflow. But if you pay close attention in this same project, notice that I'm not going to change projects. I'm simply going to change boards. I also went ahead and created a scrum board. So when I click on my scrum board, notice I'm still in the right project, but all my issues are gone. And if I go to my backlog view, 
everything that's in my Kanban board is now here. But notice that we have some differences. We have a very, very important difference. And this is, again, why I wanted to make this video, because fundamentally, a lot of people are running into this problem because you could have created a Kanban or you could have created Scrum first, and then maybe you had to change your heart, or maybe you got new information and you're like, hmm, let me just change it, let me try it out. But now your experience is a little bit degraded. Now your experience is a little bit confusing, if you will. And I wanna kind of clarify the confusion and, and kind of give you your options and give you some some pointers as to like how can you move forward from this? Because this is a very annoying confusion that I don't think gets enough love. So hopefully this video helps clarify things for you. So fundamentally, right, a couple of things to kind of just point out. Let's go back to our Kanban just to kind of drive the point home, right? So when I'm in my Kanban, I have issues that are in my selective for development status. I have issues that are in my in progress status and I don't have anything in done. I do, however, have a couple of items in my backlog. And what this means is when I click on these items, you'll notice that the status is backlog. When I click on the status of this item, the status is selected for development. And when I click on the status of this one, the status is in progress. Keep in mind this key here, SKP-1, all right? Lock that in for your head for one second. Because when I switch over to my scrum board, which again is still within the same project, nothing's on my board. And the reason that is because that's just how Jira works, right? A scrum board won't display anything until you have an active sprint. So to do that, we got to go back to our backlog. But when you look at the first item in here, skip one, SKP-1, you may remember, unless you're like me and Dory, when we have a two second attention span, you may remember that this story was actually in progress. But today and right now, it's in backlog. So hmm, how is that possible? How is it possible that it's in the backlog, but it's also in progress? Because when we look at the Kanban board, only the any item, right? I'm just gonna pop these up for you, right? This one's in backlog, this one's in backlog, this one's in backlog, and this one's in backlog. You'll notice that the statuses are backlog. But what you're missing is that SKP-1. It's not here. And the reason it's not here is because it's in progress. And so fundamentally, when we're looking at a Kanban board and we go look at the Kanban, it's a progression of statuses. Those statuses are gonna be very important because those statuses dictate where they show up. So when everything's brand new, when you just create an issue, it's gonna inherit the status of backlog. And the reason that is, the reason that that's happening is because if I go to my project settings and I go to my workflow and I click on the diagram here so you can see it. So when I go look at this workflow, right, this circle here is a create. So this is going to take me and basically what this means is anytime I hit the create button, we're going to go straight into the backlog. And so everything's going to a status of backlog, which is what's going to pipe it to show up in the Kanban backlog, because that's just how Kanban works. It's going to show up here at the bottom of this list. But when we're in the scrum one, Scrum doesn't have a status of backlog. It just has to do. But it's backlog. It's not a status. It's just a thing. It's, I don't even have a good way to describe it. And so because of that, because of those fundamental changes in the way those workflows work and the way that Scrum and Kanban work, you're going to have a confusing time if you have both types of boards in a single project. Because all of a sudden, you have items that are in progress, like this one, we have items that are, uh, let's see if we can find another status over here. I want to get something, there we go. This story C is in selected for development, right? And then I have other stories that are in the backlog status, right? And so now we have like a hodgepodge of everything. And the reason that is, is because in order for something to show up on the board, they need to be in a sprint. So all we need to do is create a sprint and then bring items in to our sprint. But when we do this, Jira's less concerned about the status that it's already in, but rather just adding or populating the sprint field over here on the right. And so when that sprint field is being populated, that's when the scrum board is now taking effect. So if I hit the start sprint button over here and I give, give it the dates and stuff, then those issues are gonna show up and they're gonna remember, they're gonna be, they're gonna have memory of the status that they're in. So in this case, my SKP1 is right back in progress because that's the status it was in. Now, hopefully that clears things up, right? Because it's it's a little confusing. So I'm gonna try to just give you like the like the clip notes version here, right? One, the statuses when you select Kanban are four. Backlog, selected for development, in progress, and done. You can obviously change those, but those are the ones you get. When you pick a scrum board, you're gonna get to do and progress and done. 
Now, the Kanban board relies on those statuses to determine where and how they're shown on the board. Because keep in mind, there's no sprints over there. But when you're in the Scrum board, because we depend on the sprint, because we now have sprints, the statuses are kind of irrelevant. It's not going to dictate if you show up on the board or not or where you show up. It's going to be based on that sprint field value. So where the things get confusing is when you have both styles, when you have both types of projects, your views are going to be drastically different because fundamentally they work very, very different. So I want you to be very, very cautious. And if you have any additional questions or you need any more clarification, let me know in the comment section below. Ask your questions and I'd be more than happy to answer. So hopefully that kind of clears things up for you. It's a little annoying. So my, my only answer to you is if you're going to do Scrum, have Scrum. And if you're going to do Kanban, have Kanban. But don't try to mix them unless... Unless you are simply first Scrum and then you add Kanban. Because if you're Kanban first and then you add Scrum, I don't recommend you do that. But if your project was first a Scrum project, and that means you have to do in progress and done as your status is, and then you add Kanban, then I think that's better. I think that's okay because you're going to be optimized for Scrum, which is what you should be using. And then Kanban is kind of like a, just an added layer on top. But if you're optimized for Kanban and then you try to do Scrum, like it's just not going to work out as well. So make sure that you go one way and not the other. Anyways, that's it for this video. I want to remind you of three special things. One, if you are looking for some exposure for your app, this Friday slot is still wide open. So if you're interested in that, make sure you get a hold of me either in the comment sections, email, or through LinkedIn. I'd be more than happy to chat about that. Two, this video is part of the Summer of Atlassian 2.0. So if you haven't subscribed by now and you made it this far, 10,000 subscribers where the money is at. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you tell all your coworkers to subscribe. Share this video with all your coworkers. Share this video with everybody you know so that we can get more love on this channel. And then finally, go check out the Jira Life. Link is in the description below. Make sure that you subscribe to that channel as well as we're aggressively trying to grow that to 1,000 subscribers as well. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need